D Squad family. Good morning, guys. All right, guys, it's time. Y'all already know what time it is. Today is Sunday, so that means it's time to get ready to go to church. Get ready to go get my praise on and go eat. Eat, 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 eat that word. So, guys, you already know I'm going to take you with me. I hope y'all checked out that prank on my daughter on yesterday. Like, I could look at it over and over again. When I need a good laugh, I'm just going to go to that prank. She is so scary. She thinks she's going to get me back. But I ain't done because that was one. She actually done too, but that's not what this is about today. So anyway, guys, enjoy the word on today, guys, because you know I'm taking you with me. I love you, D-Squad, and here's your morning kiss. I say now, wind it up. Come on and wind it up. Here's your kiss. Ooh, D-Squad family. Down deep in my soul. 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 I have made it to church. Praise God. Thank God. Okay. So I'm going to take y'all in here with me so you can see, guys, what it looks like. Look, this building is where we hold our services at. This is actually a, a uh, it's called Corpus Christi All-Star Building, where they actually do uh, gymnastics, Zumba, things of that nature. But with the ability that God has given us, the vision, um, it be, turns into a church. So, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take you guys in with me so you can see the before. And then you'll kind of see what we do to set up to get prepared for the service on today. So, here we go. So, as you can see, we have not started the front yet. There, this is what it looks like before we get in here and do what we do. And they've already started setting up chairs and everything. So, as you can see, they are doing their thing. So, all right, guys, I'll see you on a little bit. I'll see the tables. All right, so I'm going to go out here and set up the table. If y'all recall, I set up the table. Uh, I think it was when we gave the backpacks for the kids. So this is what it looks like right now, guys. But this is what it's going to look like in just a moment. Let me see. All right, these are our children putting stuff together. Oh, you know how to do that? Wow. See, I don't even know how to do that. That is so cool. And that's a wrap. <laughs> there it is. All right, guys. So this is, it's ready. And this is how we set it up. So when the guests come in, this is what they see. And this, we have our little table <clears throat> for our first time guests. We do give them, we bless them with this little token of love. And we have our little fill out papers. More information about the service, about the church. For those of us that pay tithes. And this is our little business card. And these are little shirts. These are for babies uh, that you're able to purchase for not even that much. And that go our shirt again, guys. So, all right, guys, and they finished the inside of the service. Um, they finished the inside of the church. So, when you walk in, <clears throat> the chairs are set up already. <clears throat> yeah. And they're ready to roll. Now they're fixing the stuff for the music. I've been doing the finishing touches, guys. So, that's it. All the honor and the glory, God. Those that are on their way, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you keep them safe, Lord God. You keep them safe. And that they would, Father, get here as quick as possible so that they can come, Lord, with us as one group, as one family.
worried, oh my God. upset. Mm -hmm. And right early this morning, God touched you while you lie in the image of death. And he touched you with his divine finger of love. And he gave you activity of your limbs. Yes. And you were able to get your dress, self-dressed. And you made it to the house of the Lord. Amen. There's something. Somebody shout, that's something. That's something. There's something to be. There's something to praise him about right there. Thanks. Cause somebody didn't wake up this That's morning. right. That's right. Mm. Someone had plans today. My oh God. My oh God. But didn't wake up. Mm. Didn't get an opportunity. Oh God. Mm. Yeah. So we're just not here just to have church. We're here to have an experience. Amen. Oh Amen. Come on now. give him some praise. I want you to praise him like you know that he's done something for you. Amen. Thank you, Come Lord. On, Hallelujah. This morning, God has ministered to me about the altar. The altar. Somebody shout the altar. The altar. I think sometimes that the Lord was ministering to me and he said, we, 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 we look over the altar. We want, we want the blessing from God. We want the things from God. But God said that they, they, they never really came and sat down with me. Now the altar comes from the Greek word, alatrium, and it means God's table. Pastor Aaron, what are you saying? I'm saying that when God is telling you to come to the altar, you're coming to sit at God's table. Yes, amen. That's right. And we as believers, we want the blessing, but we don't want to come sit at the table. See, it's a relationship thing. And it's not a, the, 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 the table is so important and so divine and so anointed that God just don't want you to sit down and get back up. He wants you to come to the altar. Amen. That's right. Thank you, Lord. We forget the altar. Yeah. And that's why our blessings is because God called us to come sit at the table with him. Somebody shout the altar. The altar. Well, Pastor, that seems so religious and uh, 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 sacrificial. That's what it is. Amen. That's right. When I come to the altar, I'm making a sacrifice. I'm telling God, God, here's my sacrifice. Now can I sit down at your table? Amen. Amen. We read last week in 1 Samuel 15, 22, that it's better to obey than to sacrifice. God said, when you be obedient to me. I'll make sure that your sacrifice is worthy. The problem was with us with believers, we want to sacrifice everything. It is not your place to sacrifice. It is your place to obey. Amen. Somebody shout the altar. The altar. Let's go to the book of Hebrews. Chapter 13, Pastor. And has it on the screen right there. We have it? Amen. Uh-huh. Church. 
was beat. You're not coming to, to God's table to eat. The Bible said, the Hebrew writer wrote, he said, this is, this is a place where they, the table, there's no meal on this table, but it's a table for the sacrifices Ooh. that we observe yes. God. Yes, amen. Amen, that's right. Somebody said it's God's table. It's God's table. See, how many of us want to sit at God's table? Amen. But you got to be willing to bring something to God's table. You cannot show up Come on now. We want something from God, but God wants something from you. That's right. Read that last part again, Pastor. We have an altar whereof we have no right to eat and serve the God. He said, What? We have an altar whereof we have no right to eat. He said, We have an altar that they have no right to do what, church? Eat. To so do what? Eat. So that means at this table, you're not going to eat off this table. And so many of us, we think that God owes us something that we have the right to eat Ooh, off our table. Come on. Said, you ain't brought nothing to the table. <laughs> come on. Amen. That is so true. Mm -hmm. He told us, he told the psalmist, he said, I prepare a table before yes. you in the presence of my enemies. Yes. He said, but that's my table. Mm. My God. That's not your table, that's mine. Amen. He said, you only can eat until you bring something. You got that one cousin, that one family that drove to the party, they'll never bring nothing, but take a plate back with it. Bring your plate. Amen. You can take a model plate. Amen. Yes, Lord. Come on now. Yeah. My family know what I'm talking about. Because yeah. <laughs> there ain't no model plates here. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus, right? <laughs> so you cannot take something. You can't show up to the same way the hand of people of God. Somebody shout God's altar. God's altar. Somebody shout God's table. God's table. He said, this is a table that there has no meat on it. You're not going to come here to eat, but you're going to come here to give. He said, when you give, that's when I'm going to bless you. That's right. Touch your neighbor, tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor, what have you brought to the what table? Neighbor, what have you brought to the table? Hey man, let's go to Matthew 11. Let's start at 27, Pastor. As Christians have got it wrong, we want to be, even though we're always on the receiving end, God said, what have you brought to my table? Amen. We miss the altar, and we want to skip right to the blessing. Yes. And it doesn't work that way, amen? Amen. God said, I need you to come to the table with something first. Amen. Amen. See, we get we have these things that when we get bitter. Because God is blessing someone and not you. God said, first of all, how do you know that's me blessing you? Because the devil blessed you too. Amen. Amen. He said, but secondly, if it's me blessing me, blessing them, how do you not know the sacrifice that they made? Amen. See, you look at what they have, but you're not looking at what it is, but they got what they had to get. Yes, amen. You got 11 of uh, Matthew with 28 passages. He said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Say it again. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Amen. He said, Come. Somebody shall come. Come. Somebody shall come. Come. God is calling you. Come unto me. You get a what? Heavy laden burden. Yes, yes, Lord. Mm. What 29 say, Pastor? Ooh, Jesus. Uh huh. Rest to your soul. Here's the thing. Say the last part again, Pastor. Say it again, please, please, please. Say it one more time, Pastor, for those who are listening. Oak. Yes. And the Lord was ministering to me, church. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God said, the only way you're going to get my yoke is unless you come to the altar. Amen. The only way that you're going to receive the yoke of me is when you come to the altar because that's my table. Because that's why I'm at. 
I'm at the table. Amen. I'm waiting on you, but I'm waiting for you to come to me. I'm not going to go to you unless you're willing to come to me first. And this is what we have in Rome. Sometimes as believers, we think that God is going to come to us. But God said, I'm not doing that, but waiting on me. I am waiting on you. I don't need your help, but you need mine. And this is why the church is not resting. Yes. Whew. Jesus. Mm. Because God said, I need you to come. Somebody shall come. Come. Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. You better go. You better go. God said, come. <laughs> come unto me. He got a heavy laden and burden. I will give you rest. He said, my yoke is easy. And it is light. What's the last part? What did he say, Pastor? He said, you got to learn of me. He said, learn of me. Yeah. Church, we're never going to learn about God unless we come to God. And the only way we can come to God is to sit at the table of God. And the table of God is the altar. Come on and give God to pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Ministry, the song, is only going to get you so much. And guess what? We can read it without understanding. I love what Philip told the unit. He said, if thou understandest without reading, he said, how come? How can I? Except someone teach it to me. Philip, you've been at the altar, Philip. You've been at God's Amen. table. Amen. Sorry, sweetheart. How many know that the word of God says that he sends angels that will encamp those and they're going to have a safe and productive, safe and productive year this year. How many believe it? Come on. I need a witness. I need somebody to agree with me today. Come on. Somebody agree with me today. In the name of Jesus. 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 In